okay, everybody. Uh, this is Sensei Nick on behalf of Champions League right with the Tees and John Allen. Uh, real excited, real quick, we're going to show you one of our back to school, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> back in the day, this is one of the first webinars of all time. Uh, that's me up in the left-hand corner. This was me and John Mount. So just real quick, listen to this and uh, check it out. We're going to start our webinar with this to go uh, a little blast from the past. Uh, blast from the past. I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, can you hear me all right there? This is John Malik speaking. I just wanted to quickly take a moment to thank Sensei Nick Doherty. Uh, that was the first webinar we ever did. That was over eight years ago. And uh, really, really, really proud about that. Um, and you should be too as martial artists. The reason why is that there was no such thing as webinars back then. We were the first. And when I say we, I don't say Champions Way. I'm saying the martial arts industry was the first industry to unify and really exchange information online. And that was what we were doing all the way back eight years ago. So, you know, it's kind of full circle. We did resourceful marketing eight years ago. Today we're doing 50 low cost marketing strategies. So stay tuned, lots of great things to happen. And uh, really excited you're all here. John Malik for Champions Way and Sensei Nick, you're all set to go there. Take it away when you're ready, sir. Okay guys, thank you so much. Thanks John. Um, that was that was awesome. That was <laughs> that was really cool. I, I remember that webinar like it was yesterday. I remember when actually John asked me to do a webinar, and I really didn't even know like what to talk about. And he just said, "Sensei, just do what you do." How did you get all of your students? And uh, that was it. And it was uh, it was I was so nervous, and it was it was just it was awesome. It was one of the best experiences ever. So real quick, um, going from one school to the next. Uh, let's show you guys what we're working on now. Okay, so. That was resourceful marketing, like, like John had said, eight years ago. So I want to bring up a little presentation now and uh, go over this. So real quick, let me just get back here. Okay, guys. So the first low-cost marketing webinar was eight years ago. Right? That, was, that was eight years ago that me and Sensei John did that. Uh, so that was John Malik and myself. And it was interesting, what we were talking about then was, you know, I would tell John about special deals I would get on direct mail, uh, you know, different ways I would negotiate with the, with the people that did the direct mail campaigns. Uh, Clipper Magazine, John remembers this, I used to spend $12,000 a year, $1,000 a month, $1,000 a month on print advertising with the Clipper Magazine. All right, uh, that was, that was uh, up until about three years ago. And uh, for those of you that you know that watch have seen the movie Boiler Room, um, I you know built my school from cold calling, calling birthday leads, being on the phone all the time, uh, and I'm sure the rest of you guys have done stuff like that as well. Back in the day, that's uh, that's our, that's our our guy there from Boiler Room. So now you know things are changing, okay? And that's what this whole webinar is going to be about today. Uh, some of the changes that have been made and how you can implement them with you know some of the old school and traditional marketing methods. So Twitter's one of them. Obviously, Facebook's you know the, the, probably the number one way, the easiest way to, to get students quickly from um, if you have a good following. And then we have mobile devices. Okay, they're obviously in a new way. We're going to talk a little bit about mobile marketing today. All right, and there's a, there's a sample also for you guys. Okay, about staying connected. Uh, these are called short codes. Text champions. This is what I have in my school. It's six four eight four two for school updates, special offers, discounts, and the latest news. 
LinkedIn, okay, we're, we're going to be starting to work with a lot of schools and helping them get on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter will be the three main platforms that you know, most businesses will really need to be on in the next year or two. That is called a QR code. You've seen me talk about this in the past couple meetings. We're going to show you some cool things with QR codes today. Links, okay, links, you know, everything we're talking about, the, the way that you're marketing on all those different platforms is by using a link of some sort. Okay, whether it's a Bitly link, whether it's a link on Twitter, whether it's a link on Facebook, whether it's a landing page link, whether it's a mobile landing page link, whatever. Those, that, that is what's happening nowadays. So what about today? Is traditional marketing dead? Yes, it is. If, now there's a big if here, if you don't have the right strategy, if you don't have the right tools, and if you're not adapting with the times. So, in other words, when I was at a diner yesterday, I went to there, I got some breakfast, and uh, I looked at a placemat. And I'm looking at the placemat, and I noticed on there, everyone has call 877-221-3648, all their phone numbers, all their websites, you know, and um, what I'm looking at is I'm like, wait a second, like, how come no one on here is using a QR code? No one on here is using uh, anything for mobile marketing? And uh, it was interesting that, you know, obviously most industries are usually behind the martial arts. Uh, because martial artists are usually really good when it comes to marketing. So where do I start? That is why you were here. Let's give you a clear vision on exactly what you need to do. So we're going to start with a basic idea to help you guys understand what we're going to be covering today. So the most important thing you understand first is that it starts with you. Okay, everything starts with you. Everything you're doing in social media, mobile marketing, everything, all right, I'm really I'm tired of hearing people talk about that they don't want to do it or they don't want to be involved with it. All right, um, they, you know they have, so, they have another guy doing it. They have a free web guy, and um, I will. T I have a blog post coming out on Monday specifically for this, and it's really simple. Free is more expensive. All right, when someone tells me that, and I'm, I'm not talking about just martial arts schools. I'm talking about businesses in general. When I hear them tell me that they have some guy that's going to do it for them for free, I try talking to them, explaining to them that it's going to cost them more. If you're talking about a website, you have a free website guy, I had about six of them about 10 years ago. All right? And finally, when I got Champions Way, to make, uh, Champions Way to Make My Website, was when I actually started getting results. All right? you have to, they're working all the time, they're doing this, they're doing that. So it becomes more expensive uh, for you to get someone to do things like that. So free is more expensive. Your classes are critical. No matter what type of marketing advice that we give you here, your classes, you must be on top of you know, making sure your customer service and your classes are run at an optimal level. I just took two pictures of some nice looking classes. The kids look focused there. Personally, and me on this line, I would never have a line of students like that. I'd have another line up here. I like to be very even and so forth, but I like how everybody has their hands up and they look focused. And then your staff. Okay, now obviously this isn't a martial arts staff, it was just the best picture I can get of actual staff. Okay? And you're responsible for your staff putting them in a position with the new ways to market their school nowadays. Now the hard part. It's called transition. I found this really cool sign I had over here about, the, about a transition. All right, and you know, if you notice up here, it says your career. And a lot of people's careers, whether it was now or in the future, they were in a transition. And marketing right now is in a transition. If you notice these signs, all these different things going in different directions, well, it's the same thing with everything that's going on right now. So the most important thing, and I've been through more transitions than a lot of people, I'm not saying anybody, but I've been through a lot of transitions. Uh, I went through a transition when I, when I changed the name of my school. I went through a transition when I lost my first head instructor. I went through a transition when I opened my second location. I went through transitions when I lost my second and third and fourth uh, instructors. Okay, I went through a transition when I went from working in my schools every single day to working for Champions Way full time. So I know a thing that's true about transitions. And one of the thing you could understand, the one thing you need to know about when it comes to transitions is that you have to have patience. It's not going to happen today, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's going to be several months. It's going to be a lot of stress. But it's how you handle the stress and understanding you know, how to handle with transition. The best leaders in the world are able to handle transitions. Okay, they can shear the stick, uh, uh, sorry, shear the, steer the ship through the rough waters, through those rough times. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so that's, a, that's, a, that's what we need to understand. And it's your job with this new marketing all right, to make sure that you're on top of it when it comes to education knowing what you're talking about. Do not let your junior black belts know more than you. 
They might know more about Facebook and YouTube videos, but the overall strategy of social media, it should come from you. So what is not going to happen? You're not going to get students quick. You're not going to make more money quick. And you're not going to get more followers quick. This is the most important thing you guys should know right now, okay, about what we're talking about. You're not going to get students quick from using social media, by using mobile, mobile marketing. Okay, you're not going to make more money quick, and you're not going to get more followers quick. You have got to get people to follow you because they want to, because you actually have something of value and you're interesting. If you're a jerk, if you're boring, if you don't really care except signing people up, then no matter what you have, it's not going to work. So that's why I love social media, because you can't fake it anymore. You can't be a fraud. You can't be a fake. You must be authentic. Why? Okay, the reason why it's going to take so long, too, is because you have no reach. You have to work for reach. You have to hook people up today way more than 10 years ago. Deals, discounts, specials, there's more competition. You will be inconsistent. You won't start your Facebook page and they won't, you won't be on it for two months. The wrong person will be, uh, can be in charge. That will cost you a lot of time and money. You must educate yourself or you'll be left in the dust. You will use words like ROI. Okay? You can, people don't even understand how to measure ROI when it comes to social media. Okay? People measure it on leads. What about customer service? What about retention? Okay, what about brand awareness? All these are things you need to take into consideration. All right? You cannot just plug in a Facebook fan page and expect to get leads automatically. It will not work. You will waste time with someone who is free. Again, free is more expensive. Your content is all sales driven. If it's all sales driven, sign up, sign up, sign up, sign up. All right? No one's going to care. It took me three years in my school to get where I'm at today with social marketing. Now you could do it in half the time. Three years ago, no one could have told you anything different because they didn't do it. So now we have, we, everything's been battle tested. So let's go over the game plan. So first we're going to go through a 30 minute webinar. Then we're going to do a Q&A. Then we're going to set up a call with Samantha after the webinar if you're interested. And then you're going to go and you're going to lose control and you're going to have a lot of fun. And you're going to have a great time talking to me every single week, coming to our meetings and growing your school. Okay, guys, so first, a little bit about Champion's Way of Perfect Mind. Champion's Way was founded in 1998 by Master Fareed Dordar, right? John Malk was his actually second employee, and he's the only person left from that original group of people that signed up and started working with Master Fareed. They currently serve over 5,000 small businesses. We employ over 60 people. We have a headquarters in Vancouver, British Columbia. We have an office located in New Jersey. And for those of you that are not a fan of ours on Facebook, please follow us at facebook.com slash championswayfans. Twitter.com slash Champions Way, YouTube channel at YouTube.com slash Champions Way Inc. And we have our, our blog at blog.championsway. And we have the world's largest martial arts online community. For those of you that would like to stay up to date with myself, okay, if you have a smartphone, you could text Sensei Nick to 64842 for updates and alerts for webinars. And my social media and mobile marketing tips will be sent right to your cell phone a couple times a week. So again, just take out your mobile device and text Sensei Nick to 64842. And Welcome to GoToWebinar, web events made easy. Sense, sensei underscore Nick. Okay. Um, and you can also follow me on LinkedIn by scanning this QR code. So it's time to start learning how to use this stuff now. So if you don't know what this is, take out your smartphone and download the QR reader. Okay. It's a free app. It might be 99 cents. Okay, but you want to start learning how to use this and see what I'm doing so you can copy it and do the same thing in your school. These QR codes are all over my school today. They're everywhere. Okay, so if you, have, if you had a chance to download it, you could scan it. It takes you to my LinkedIn page, and you can follow my LinkedIn page right there. All right, so again, that's a QR reader app from your a smartphone. It's free. You download it, scan it, and then it will take you there. Don't worry, we'll be coming back to that. Let's talk about first about our meeting agenda for today. So I did a little you know, pre-webinar you know, uh, webinar with, from uh, one of the new things we're starting to use, me and John. And uh, the first thing I want to talk about is a, little, is a shout out to someone special that I did to give a shout out to. Then I want to talk about the top 10 low cost marketing strategies from 10 years ago. The top 10 low cost internet marketing strategies today. I want to show you the road of social media. 
the top 30 other low-cost strategies, and where do I start? So first, guys, we have to have a big shout-out to, uh, to John Malik, the Vice President of Champions Way. He's probably going to kill me for saying a lot of these things, but he is the best person in the martial arts industry. There's no one that cares more about people than he does. All right, I can tell you firsthand, when I fly to Vancouver and I'm out there for weeks at a time, every day, every day he's picking me up in the morning, driving back to my apartment, all right, taking me for lunch, taking me for dinner. There's just no one that does that for three weeks, okay? And I, I personally had to thank him, and this is one of the times to thank him because uh, it was, you know, I, I, I have called him the small business sales genius. All right, he's helping several of us, okay, and several other people that you don't know about in small business on how they're changing their sales processes with, you know, the new way to market today. All right, and for those of you that have missed some of his videos, make sure you check them out. All right, they're really amazing, and you must check them out. He will save you time and money, okay, and he was the one that brought webinars to small business. He's probably going to kill me for saying that, but it was John that had the foresight and the vision of bringing these webinars, and uh, now, you know, he's, he has, he's a lot busier, and every, every once in a while, he'll be, you'll see him do some webinars. It's great. But um, believe me, I'm always trying to get him to do some webinars for us, and he has some really cool things that he's going to be coming out with in the next couple months that uh, he'll be spearheading that you'll be able to see a lot of the stuff he's been working on behind the scenes. So, guys, uh, a big round of applause uh, and, and a big shout-out to John Malik, who's made all this happen for not only myself uh, for Champions Way, but for the entire martial arts industry, guys. So big round of applause for John Malik. Thank you, John, for everything you do for all of us. Okay. So the top 10 low-cost marketing strategies from 10 years ago. All right, so first, email campaigns. Second, SMS broadcast. Three, demonstrations. Okay, let's talk about these three first. So email campaigns, they still work. They still work. The reason why they don't work, okay, and they don't work for me sometimes too, is because we're only sending out emails about sales, about signing up, and that's why people unsubscribe. So one thing that has happened with social media is we started to realize how important content was and target marketing, all right? So too many times we're taking these uh, email campaigns and we're sending them out to all of our leads, and I have a lot of leads. I have over, I think, 4,000 email addresses. And what's happening is these email campaigns are going to the wrong people for birthday parties, the wrong people for tigers and dragons, okay? The wrong people for everything, all right? And that's when people unsubscribe and that's when we lose them. And then there's no call, of act, call to action either that goes to everybody. All right? There's no link that takes them to a free course. So email marketing, we will be doing another webinar on that, on showing you how to make it work for today because it does work. SMS broadcast, things have changed. You can't do SMS the way you used to. You need short codes. You need to have people opt in. It's a government a regulation. Demonstrations, okay? Do as many as you can with the new strategy. All right, promoting, you know, having like your QR code. We have a big demonstration coming up. It's called Super Saturday. We're going to have a huge thing on our, uh, our, uh, our stage. It's going to say text champions to 64842 for a free lesson. A big banner that's huge that's in front of everybody, okay, that everyone's going to see and everybody's going to remember. And instead of getting the flyers and the, on the cars that everybody hates, you know, just get people's mobile numbers and get them to opt in for a 24-hour credit. So just a changing of the times. Flyers. They can still work, but if you visited a small business lately, they try to put flyers in a small business. Some of them are doing so bad, they go in there and, oh, it's, it's terrible. So, I mean, you know, I, I try to stay away from that, but if you are going to do it, make sure you put a QR code or something on there so you at least get it tracked. And don't worry, QR codes are coming quick. Some of you, you maybe it's the first time you've seen them, but don't worry, you, you, you're going to see a lot more of them. VIP passes. To me, like, you know, same thing. If you're going to use a QR code or a text message on there, at least it can be tracked. If not, you know, put it on Facebook. It's a lot easier to get it shared on Facebook. Lead boxes, sorry, guys. Sponsoring sports teams, I would put my Facebook address on there to try it, something different, you know, facebook.com slash champions fans. These were the things we did 10 years ago, sponsoring sports teams. It worked really well for us. And when we sponsored them, sponsored them we had our website on them, and we also, I'm sorry, eight years ago, and we also um, would book them for their party afterwards, okay, uh, at our location. We did a pizza party for them. That worked out really good. It got me some good contacts and a lot of uh, referrals. Bring a friend days can work. You know, it's just a lot harder. You know, people, you know, their moms don't come in or parents don't come in anymore. 
Um, that's why at least if the child has a cell phone, you know, then you can get them to opt in and then you can send them a pass and you'd ask them to text and share with the mother. Valpac, I would only do direct mail if I had a QR code, you know, or something uh, like a short code to get people to text me. Other than that, I would not just like pray that Valpac's going to win. So let's talk about the top 10 low-cost internet marketing strategies today. And, you know, not in no particular order, but Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, SMS, QR codes, landing pages, links, word of mouth, social site. Now, landing pages, believe it or not, they've been around for a long time. QR codes, they have not been. SMS has been around. You know, YouTube's been around for a while, but these are a little bit more new. The importance of links is so important. Word of mouth, getting that reputation online to get shared. And we're going to show you some examples, some great examples today of exactly what I'm talking about. And then social site, having a site that's social. Using Champions Way, it's really simple all right, and it's something you want to definitely get into because without a social site uh, or a mobile site, which is on other and also, which, we're gonna, which will be available through Purple Mind shortly, those are some of the things you want to make sure that you're getting focused on in the next couple months. We will not tell you to do anything unless it's been battle tested and produced results. That's the one unique thing about us, guys, and especially uh, you know, with me. I'm not going to get up there and tell you to do something that I haven't done in my school. Right? And, you know, I see a lot of videos and content out there from people that I don't know where they're even getting their information from. I mean, there's telling people to do things and they don't even have a school. So that's the, huge, the biggest advantage of Champions Way is that, you know, we have schools, we have three Champions schools, one in Vancouver, two in New Jersey, that we, we do all, everything we're talking about and battle test it first before we tell you to do something and have no idea whether it's going to work or not. So that's something that you really got to be careful about when you're looking around. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons why I respect Master Freed. Uh, He's a martial artist. You know, he's been that. He's been in there. He has a school. I can go to his school and, and he, everything. He's giving his instructors ideas still to this day. Uh, it's really important, you know, uh, to make sure that everything's been battle tested. Facebook facts. Facebook alone has gotten us over a hundred students in 2011. Okay, over a hundred students in 2011. That is 100 percent fact. That's since January. Okay, I can prove it. So that's I'm showing you. Facebook does work. Here's a sample of a, of a, you know, when you're going to a Facebook page like that, that you would see on my page. It says like us for full, for, uh, full access. And then something really simple and really clean. I'm a traditional school. You know, we have, you know, I'm looking for something very clean like this. You can see my programs, my schedule, my testimonials, links to my Twitter, web, social, and YouTube. And then it's a, a really basic thing about getting people to subscribe to our email. And that goes right into Perfect Mind. LinkedIn. Here's a sample of my LinkedIn page, which we just started getting going now. Okay, we're, 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 we're now at Facebook. We have over, I think, 1,700 fans. And here's our kickboxing service. And you see down here it says, click here for a great special. And when people go to that, they get this. Six weeks of kickboxing for only $49. This is when the sale ends. This is their information. And you can even share the deal. It's already been shared five times with other people, which is really cool. All right, and these are some of the things we produce for Champions Way clients. And if you notice here, here's our overview of champions. And you can do promote your company on LinkedIn. And that's had some basic information. So there's our LinkedIn profile. Twitter, YouTube, okay. Uh, they're obviously, you know, platforms that you must get onto as, as soon as possible as well. Looks like Twitter's going to be adding something for businesses, okay. And I've been noticing that it's, you know, they got, hey, guys, I've tried some things and, uh, before, and sometimes they work later, and Twitter's getting bigger. I'm noticing that a lot of my students, my kickboxers, <coughs> are on Twitter. Great workout at Champions MA. You know, um, really cool. And, um, I'm, I'm, and I'm starting to engage with them and talk to them. YouTube videos are bigger than ever. They're going to be really important. You are a publishing uh, company, whether you know it or not. And, I, you know, if people don't have videos going up every single day, it's a shame. It, re it really is. And it's, uh, I, know, I know how hard it is, guys, but I can tell you, if I was at my school, Every single day, that video is every single day. Not once a week, not once a month. I mean, it's really simple, getting 30-second clips from your iPhone. That's all you need. And, and keep throwing it up on YouTube. I don't know how much I can stress that. Uh, people will find it, especially with the mobile devices, and they're going to see your classes. I'm not saying if it's bad, throw it up there, but you know, if, you're, if you're producing good students and you have a good program and you have good testimonials, get it up there on your iPhone and put it right on YouTube. Here's a sample of our alerts that we have on our Facebook page. 
and this helps people. I know it goes right to their mobile phone. The messages we send to them, the landing pages we send to them, right to their mobile phone. It's called a short code. And if anyone has a barcode um, right now, I'm sorry. If you download that QR reader, I'd like you to take out your smartphone and just real quick um, scan this. I'll give everybody one second. Okay, guys, good. So again, uh, I'll give you about another minute because I know sometimes it takes a little bit of time to download the app. So if you download your QR reader, I'm going to do this one time myself, and then you scan this. Let's see where it takes us to. Awesome. So if you check it out and you're interested in that, fill out the information, it goes right to me. You can use the same thing. All right. You can use all of these landing pages on your mobile devices. Okay, see this? Mother's Day kickboxing. This is a real nice one. I, I, we're really promoting kickboxing a lot.